What's up guys, Mr. Apple Helper Pro 100 here. Tell me to show you guys on how to edit sports photos on any iDevice. So it could be iPad 1, iPhone, iPhone 4, or any device. So, um, a lot of people have been doing sports edits for Instagram. So I'm going to my uh, Explore. I'm going to show you guys one of my accounts, which is all sports edits. Uh, right here all ESPN graphics so go and follow this um, profile so I'll show you guys on how to make cool sports edits like uh, what's a cool one how about let's do Darren Williams see this out look how nice this looks I'll show you guys on how to do these Colin Kaepernick here's a photo of Colin Kaepernick RG3 um Let's see more Ronaldinho. So I'm sure you guys know how to do that. So it's really simple, really. Um, go ahead and follow me on Instagram first thing. I'll leave my usernames down in the description down below. So doing sports that is is really easy. So you're just gonna need three applications. So you can just download it from the App Store. So first app you need is Color Blast Light. You can get the light version or full version. It's all up to you. I'll leave uh, the apps in the description down below. Next app, you need Super Photo right here. And uh, last, and you're going to need two more apps after that. You're going to need the Photos app. And you're going to need the Safari app. So that's about it. So first step, go into Safari. And once Safari loads, I'm just going to let this load. So you're going to go into Search. And you're gonna search for an athlete that you want. So say I wanted RG3 again. So I'll search RG3. And uh, it, you can use Yahoo, Google, or Bing, or whatever images you wanna use. So I personally don't care. So I'm gonna go into images. So once you're at images, you can pick a photo you want that you want to edit. I personally would edit the photos that only shows him. Like this one's a good one. So I'm gonna edit this one. So once you're here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a screenshot by holding the home, the button and the power button. Just like clicking like that. You're gonna take a screenshot. So once you took that screenshot, you're gonna go ahead and open up Color Blast. The paid version and there's a free version. The paid version just basically takes all the app, the ads out and stuff. The light version, there isn't much of a difference. So, click done. So now you're going to pick from your photo library. And uh, choose that photo you just took a screenshot off of. Click that one. Let this load. So once this loads up... You guys just saw that where it changes this color into all black and white. So what you're basically going to do is you're just going to pick a paintbrush. And I first personally like to use the hand for it so you can zoom in. So you can just use the paintbrush and color in the player. So I'm just going to do that now. It might take a while so just keep watching. So I'm just going to keep coloring him. So... So now I'm going to use the hand and keep moving around. Use the thing again. Right now I'm just kind of rushing through it. If you're a really precise editor like me when like uh, you have your own time, this is just a video purpose. So I'm just going to kind of rush through and do it as quickly as I can. And if you're like a really precise guy and you sometimes maybe miss and then you don't only take the guy itself. You can just use the erase, and you can erase erase some of the stuff you see right there. I made a mistake a bit, so you can just do the erase thing. So I'm gonna add, keep putting this in. So once you're done, so you see, now I'm done. I just colored in the player only. What you can do is you're gonna click the top right button right there save to and you don't want to save to Instagram you want to save to your photo library 
during. Uh, you can make a photo album if you want. I'm just going to turn that off. Save to photo album. Alright, whatever. Okay, so once you're done with this, next up is, I recommend doing this, is going into photos. But you don't have to do this step, but I'm pretty sure everyone would. And go into photos. And you're gonna click the camera roll, and you're just gonna pick the photo you just did, like this one, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna edit, and click the crop button, and you can just crop the guy. So crop the photo. There we go. Like that. That looks fine. All right. Hold on. Let me let me get a look. Okay. All right. Crop. Alright, so I'm done, so I'm gonna save. So once you're done with that, now you're gonna back out. And next up is you're gonna head open over to Super Photo and open up Super Photo. Alright, so next thing is you're gonna go to Gallery. And uh, you're going to go ahead and choose the photo you just did. So this one. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into, uh, let me go into filters. And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down until you get to painting. And once you do this, uh, at this point you can pretty much mess around with the intensity. If you want to have a high intensity or you want to have a low one. To me, I like to keep it like right there. Uh, let me let me get a good one, like that. I don't like to put halfway. I like to put like maybe a little more, a little less than halfway. So I'm just gonna click go. And if you buy a photo, if you buy a theme from here, so you see like that. That that's not really that nice. So you can lower the intensity down if you want to. So you can do that, and you can just click go. So you see that? That's how it ended up looking like. So maybe that's better, or so that maybe that's better. Maybe I didn't pick a good quality. So you can just mess around with the area, or whatever you want. So once you're done with that, so I'm just going to say I want it. So say I'm just going to choose a custom, a custom one, so I'm just going to click go that one let this load so that that's how it looks so it doesn't look too bad so I'm gonna move the intensity up a bit and click go so you can just mess around whatever you like until you like you're liking this looks fine so once you have this and what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the right arrow right there you're gonna click uh, more share and you're going to click save to photo album. So at this point, you don't have to do this next step. You can just upload right away off the photos application. Or if you're a guy like me, you can go into Wittagram. Download the app right there, Wittagram. So I'm going to add that photo I just did. I personally like to do this step because you're going to add background pictures. And you can add your name, your um, custom name on it and go like you did this app you did this photo so then other people can't steal it so you can just click choose existing click camera roll you click that photo you just did so once you're done you can just click edit photo and you can do whatever you want you can add other effects and all other stuff but I personally don't like to do that stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and click change background I like to make it black looking so now that it looks all good and stuff, and I'm going to show you guys on how to add text in. You're going to scroll down until you get to text, like this. And then you're going to go ahead and enter the text in. So mine's all ESPN graphics, so I put in A, E, G. So done, and you can move it around what you want. I like to make a red color, so you can just move it in like this until you like it well, you can put wherever you want so I'll put it there so now I'm apply so now it's gonna save that lettering there I know I didn't make it too straight so now you're gonna click to Instagram so you can just click to Instagram but then I'm not logged into the right Instagram account 
so I don't really want to upload it. So anyways, um, you can just click to Instagram, and if you guys want to see this photo, just uh, look for my Instagram username. I'll upload this photo later on Instagram, and then you guys will remember this photo. So uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you found this video helpful. Um, share this to your friends. Share this to anyone who needs help on editing sports photos. And um, yeah, so anyways, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. All my Instagram usernames are in the description down below because sometimes I might change it. And uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I guess we'll see you guys in my next video.